Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about the light year and find out if it is measuring time. So what do we know about a light year? Is a light year a measurement of time? And the answer to that is no. Despite its name, which might sound like time because we call it a light year, it is actually a distance. So what actually is a light year? Well, the definition of it is the distance that light will travel in a vacuum in one year. So light travels in a vacuum at about 300,000 kilometers per second. So if we calculate that out over a year, that turns out to be about 10 trillion kilometers or about 6 trillion miles that light will travel. Sounds like a tremendous distance, but it really isn't all that large. 10 trillion kilometers will not get us to the nearest star. In fact, the nearest star is a little over four light years away from us. And of course, we are excluding our own sun there. Yes, our sun is a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and look at a couple of these and see what some of the comparisons are. And what we have is that we also have other ways that we can use that are not as common as the as the light year. Light year is, tends to be a popular measurement. But there are other things that you can use, including a light minute or a light second. Well, a light minute is just about eight and a half light minutes would be the distance between the Earth and the sun. A light second would be approximately the distance between Earth and moon. So again, even though these use second, minute and year, we're using them for the distance that light travels in that amount of time. So the Earth moon distance is a little over one light second away. And what does that mean? That means it would take light about 1.3 seconds to get from the Earth to the moon. Now, where do we use these measurements? Where are light years a useful form of measurement? And really not in our solar system. We look at, say, the Earth sun distance. It's about eight and a half light minutes. Well, the uh, most distant planet in our solar system is about 30 times farther away from the sun than this. So that would make it about 240 light minutes or a couple, a few light hours. So not really a good thing to use a light year for. So what we use it for generally is distances to stars. And in fact, when we look at the nearest stars, we find that the nearest stars are on the orders of several light years away. And here we see a map with our sun at the center and then a number of the nearby stars that we can see. Now, these are the stars within about 15 light years of Earth in a kind of a three dimensional map. So the lines there are for five light years, which there's very very few stars located within. You would have maybe Alpha Centauri there and a couple of others that are relatively close. And many of the stars start to get into the 10 to 15 light years. Now you'll notice that you don't recognize most of these stars, probably their names. They are not really prominent stars in the night sky. The really bright stars that we see are actually not close to us, but are really bright stars that happen to be much farther away, but are extremely bright so they can be seen over great distances. But the distances to the stars and then to the galaxies would be measured in light years. Stars typically in the tens to hundreds to thousands of light years, distances to galaxies generally in millions or even billions of light years for distance. However, in reality, astronomers tend to use a different unit for distance. They actually use the parsec. The parsec actually is related to the parallax of a star or the apparent shift of a star's position. And a star with one parsec has a parallax of one arc second. That's how it gets its name. Parallax of one arc second, abbreviated to parsec. It turns out to be a little over three light years. And this is the distance that is most used by professional astronomers. So let's go ahead and finish up a little with our summary here. And what we've looked at is that the light year measures distance, not time. We can use similar units like the light minute and the light second for smaller distances, such as those within the solar system. And we looked at how the parsec is used by astronomers more 
than the light year. So that concludes this discussion on the light year and how it is not a unit of time. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.